this is Video Master 3000 and this is my video tutorial on LS Maker. So first thing you want to do to download it is that you want to go to the LS Maker homepage. This will be in the video link. Now a real quick description on what LS Maker is is that it's a lightsaber making program. It's a whole lot easier than going out and wasting your money on other programs and it's absolutely free. So you want to go to the LS Maker link then you're going to end up right here. Scroll up a bit, and you want to press the download button right here. The one that says here. Do not click this one, because it doesn't come out right. You click this one. Now, since I've already downloaded it, I'm not going to do it again. But once you're done downloading it, you're going to want to open it up. What's going to happen is that a small little box right here is going to appear that says languages, but if it, if it does, and it doesn't show the, the options, just press cancel. But if it does, then you're lucky. You don't really need it, uh, but either way, don't worry if it doesn't. So you're going to end up with this. Now first of all, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to go to import. So you're going to get a file, either a video file or a picture. So I'm going to get, yeah, just any random one that I got. So you're going to end up like this. And I'd like to point out, I did make a mistake. When you make a lightsaber, start out using white. It comes out a whole lot more defined. If you want to be absolutely perfect, make the blade white out of the start. Now what you want to do is first, go over here to the color button. You want to change your color if you want it to. You could leave it green if you want. Now you go up to here to pieces. You got to change that to 6 and change flatness to 1. Now when you're done with that, you're going to go down, press OK, go to the next color. It may say it's white, but it's not because it's red right here. So you're going to go to color, press white, and press OK. Then OK again. Now what you want to do is that, here's a warning. When you put down your first points, and the points are you left click on one side of the blade, and you right click on the other side to define how long you want it to be. So left click on the bottom, right click on the end, and you press, pre and you press preview on the bottom where it shows the preview button. And it's going to come out all jaggedy like that in square because you have to render it first. So you go over here to zero, little button that shows zero on it, click on it, go to one render using color. Click on that, do it with the one below, click on that, then preview. And then it's going to come out all nice and pretty like that. So when you're done with it, you're going to press render frame. So now it's going to stay like that. Now if you're in a, you're using a video and he moves really fast with a saber, what you want to do is that instead of using this whole four points thing, it's a real pain in the neck, so just forget about it. Go up here to width size right here. Not lightness, just these two right here. The first, this one right here is first width and the second width right here is this width. So you want to change that to be a little bit bigger when it's moving fast. So like, let's say, 20. And you got to do the whole render thing again, because it's a lot easier. So go down press preview, and that's what you're going to get. You can make it go higher or lower as you want, and that's pretty much it. So then you go to a render frame again, and to put in two light zeros or more, you go to layer down here, and press it up one. Now you're on layer one. Uh, the first one you were at was zero, but now you're on layer one. So go to color, change the color if you wish. Okay, change this one to white. Okay, then you want to render it again. Of course, place your points. And you want to, and if it's not moving fast, you want to change it back to the default, which is three, which I think is the best so far. Okay, now it's all been rendered, so now you render the frame, now you end up with that. Now for a real special thing you can do is that if you want to add like a clash effect or um, lightning for like force and stuff, go to the button between, click on it, now you got to wait a moment, and it's going to come up in a little box and it's going to show all these options. Wait for it, and here it is. You could have a preset lightsaber effect if you want, like these right
right here, I wouldn't really care about them. Here's the clash abilities, like when two lightsabers are touching, you want to get that, that. And it's the same basics in using a lightsaber, you have to press points. This is what I like, the lightning effect. Now you're going to place your dots in certain areas. So like, I don't know, if you were to put it like right here, right here, just for the fun of it, for the preview. Oh, and you have to keep the render at zero, because it's rendering using image, because the lightning bolt is an image and not color. So you press preview, and you get a bolt. It's not exactly the best, so you might want to change it a bit if you want. You just got to make it to your specific detail. So I'm just going to leave it like that, just because it looks cool. So press render frame, and I'm going to end up that. Now, what you want to do is that you want to leave this masks and settings alone. Do not worry about it. It's fine. You're not going to need to touch it at all. Just leave it alone or you're going to screw some stuff up, okay? Just let you know. And with each of the frames, I mean, you have multiple frames right here. If you have a video file, you're going to have tons, but since it's just one image, you get one. Play button, pause button, rewind, but when you're all done with that, you're going to go up to export, and export as one of these right here. If it's one image, I prefer bitmaps. Leave that alone. Press OK. And then you're going to give it a title. I'm just going to put something random, because I don't really care. It's going to process the status, and then it's going to be done. So yeah, that's pretty much all you need to know, and if you want to save the file, of course, you go up here. Save as. So yeah. That's been my video tutorial and I hope I helped you out.